Hello, YouTube. It's been a good month in a couple of weeks, I think, since I last uh, filmed something for you. But I'm so excited because it's February 2nd and it's a Tuesday. And even though I had to get up this morning at 3.30 to go to my pharmacy rotations, because um, I got to do, sit in and help on watch some surgery and stuff, I got to get off before lunchtime. And that is so great. And it's a beautiful day here in Auburn, Alabama. It's 75 degrees out here on February 1st. 75 degrees, that's like, that's pool weather. Like I was seriously tempted to, because I didn't know what I was going to do the rest of my day since I got home so early. I was seriously tempted just to put on my bathing suit and go to the pool and probably be the only one there. But I am here and I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just randomly decided to cut my camera on and get some footage for y'all today. Um, I don't have a plan, so I'm just going to kind of film and see how it goes. But I'm finally done with my huge pharmacy presentation. That's why I've been so MIA like, lately, but I'm finally done with that. Um, I'm not done pharmacy school yet, so there's still lots of work to be done, but at least I got that out of the way, because that's what's keep, been keeping me a hermit lately, and why I haven't been able to get any photos, photos, well, I've gotten lots of photos on my Instagram, but videos out for y'all, but I don't know what I'm going to film today, I don't really have a plan, so I'm just starting my day off right now. It is almost four, no, almost one o'clock, it's almost one o'clock, and I'm just going to show y'all what I'm going to eat for lunch right now, we're going to start with there. So for lunch, I've got four ounces of some turkey meat that I fried up on Sunday night. Um, just a little bit of salt and pepper and some Italian seasoning and some chili powder just for seasoning. And I might add a little bit of this reduced sugar ketchup to it just for a little bit of salt sauciness because turkey meat tends to dry out if those of you who know they eat it. And then here I've got half a cup of chopped cucumbers and about a fourth a cup of some tomatoes. A little bit of apple cider vinegar um, and olive oil and some salt and pepper and so that's what I'm going to be eating for lunch today so I just completely scarfed down my lunch and it was great it was really great it lasted like in all two minutes maybe anyway so I just wanted to um, talk about I've had a lot of people ask me if I'm going to be competing when's my next show you know what am I what am I doing this year with my fitness career and all that stuff um, I still do not know if I am going to compete or not. Um, as of most of you know who, who have been following me, I am graduating pharmacy school in May. Um, you know, most, you know, competitions kind of start, or at least here in Alabama, I think the first competition starts at the end of May and it goes on till about August or October. So majority of the shows are during the summer. Well, I graduate in May and I'm starting a pharmacy job in May. And so this is like my first, of course, big girl job, like my big career. Um, so I can't really, I don't know if I'll be able to take off because, you know, when you do competitions, you need that, that weekend off and, I, you know, even like that Thursday and Friday taken off too. And with it being a new job that I'm starting and me being like the new, the newbie hire, you know, um, and it's a pharmacist job. It's not like it's a, I guess like a, technician job where you may be able to kind of swap around with people, but now I'm kind of like the boss under the boss. So um, I don't know if I'll be able to kind of take off work in order to go to a competition, much less, I don't really know. It's kind of hard to judge that far out because, you know, it takes weeks or sometimes months to prep for a show. So um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to compete because it just depends on where I'm at where, you know, how my job is going, um, but kind of what I'm doing, I'm kind of like getting back into sort of kind of prepping, not, not like strict competition prep, but I guess I'm, tr I'm just prepping for that summer shredding body, so I'm just kind of getting ready for the summer, um, you know, getting ready for your bikini, um, you know, beach bod season coming up, so that's kind of what I'm doing. And I love the gym, so I constantly work out in the gym anyways, but I'm just kind of cleaning up my diet and seeing how that goes. So in case if I think I will be able to, to compete, I can just kind of jump right into a prep and, and there won't have to be some extreme dieting or anything going on. But um, right now I'm just doing what I love, just working out in the gym and just cleaning up my diet. And, you know, if I have the opportunity to compete this year, I might do it. Um, but I think what I, what I do want to do, I've had a couple of different um, photographers ask me last year to do a photo shoot with them. 
And at the time, I just really didn't know if I had time or the commitment to it. Um, and again, with pharmacy school, it's already hard enough just doing competitions in pharmacy school. So I didn't, I didn't want to compete or commit to doing a photo shoot um, either. So, but I think I might strive to do a photo, a fitness photo shoot coming up soon. So that might be something that I work towards instead of like a competition. So that'll be something I'd have to do, you know, some good training and some good nutrition to kind of work for. So that might be what I, what I do, but we'll see. So that's kind of where I'm at with like competing. Cause I know a lot of people and a lot of you have been asking, you know, when's your next show and you know, are you going to compete this year? So it's still undecided. It's, I don't know. We'll just see how the, how the year goes. Only time will tell. So I'm getting ready to go to the gym now. It's almost four o'clock this time. So right now I'm eating a sweet potato. A cold sweet potato with cinnamon on it. It's actually good. It's kind of like a refreshing cold treat or something. That's my um, pre-workout carb is a five ounce sweet potato. And then I'm just drinking a Cellucor um, Core Whey protein shake as like a protein source. Um, I've kind of been doing this a lot lately, just kind of doing almost basically eating a meal right before I work out. So that's kind of like my pre-workout um, like energy that I'm getting. So I'm going ahead and taking in a protein shake and a carb source before I work out. And then I'm going to take today, just because I'm feeling like I need it, I'm just going to work out arms, but I don't know, I just feel like I want like an extra little pick-me-up or boost, I guess. So I'm going to be taking the C4 Ripped pre-workout. It's my favorite in the Cherry Lime A. Um, and then throughout my workout, I'm going to be drinking on the BCAA's the Lemon Lime Flavor, which is my absolute favorite flavor. I say this all the time, but it tastes just like the Yellow Gatorades when you use like 12 ounces of water per serving. But, um, so I'm going to be taking that because I've been super sore because I started my very first workout back after taking two weeks off from gym. I did my first workout on Saturday and I decided to do leg day and it was heavy leg day and glutes. After two weeks from not working out, I'm sore. Like Kelsey is still very sore. So BCAAs are my favorite friend because it's going to help in that recovery and that muscle fatigue. Um, it's going to help me just retain that muscle that, um, that I potentially could burn off while I'm doing my workout. So that's why I love BCAs. So, um, but anyways, I'm going to finish eating up my um, pre-workout carb and protein source, and then we're going to hit the gym. Get the dirt off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> 